Hello everyone, this is JPL back for another Clone Wars review. And today I'll be reviewing the Umbara arc. Oh my gosh, the Umbara arc. I love this arc. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so this Umbara arc is the first time we actually get to see the new clone armor designs in action. I mean, I know we've seen that armor in the, you know, the previous episodes, but this is where we get actually get to see it in battle. And we get to see our favorite characters, Rex and Cody, in them. Which, that's, that was epic. And you know, it's strange seeing all the weird weapons that the Umbaras, the Umbaras have. And uh, yeah, it's just, having different types of weapons is really interesting you know it's weird and you know I'm glad that that's the only time we get to see those weapons and you know I love that it's just that one time thing and they were really effective like I'm surprised that we don't actually see that actually more with the clones using them but hey what are you gonna do oh yes the fighting was really brutal you know we get to really see what war is like, you know, just, you know, damage, like, people dying everywhere, just injury. It brings us, like, literally on the battlefield, and that's what this season was advertised as. And I thought that with this, they pulled it off perfectly. And, you know, we get to see a vine monster, which... But I think it's an interesting thing, you know, seeing new monster designs. And, you know, that creature, though, I hated that thing because, you know, they're just, it's just a nuisance of the planet, just killing off your people. And, you know, the character of Krell, of Krell I love Krell. He's like one of my favorite Jedis. I love, you know, the Dex his species. You know, just that forearm kind of guy. And he has like two double bladed lightsabers. I just, it's, I love seeing that. You know, he just was a really, really a force to be reckoned with. And it's interesting, you know, seeing the clones, you know, they are just how they uh, have their own opinions on their commanders and they would have disputes against each other. And, you know, they would have a, a fun thing. Infiltration. You know, it's strange. It's it's fun. It was fun to see. You know, the clones learning how to use the fighters and having to infiltrate the weapons. And you know, that was just a cool little thing to see. And finally, you know, Krell. You know, he you know betrays them by having the clones kill each other. Which I thought was just really shocking and emotional. It's like, what? Wow. You know, it's just imagine like you're just slaughtering your brothers. You know, that's it made me. It gave me like an I like a much more better idea of how the Civil War felt like because you're literally fighting your brothers, like the North and South. And you know the execution scene. You know having um, the clones executed and then the clones actually defying them him him you know that's just it's interesting to see how we get some um you know free will there and then you know it's much more like they can't do they're not gonna do what the Jedi says and brings us into the order 66 um visual we had with them um, the clones you know going to execute some um, Krell and put him into prison and just seeing that was just awesome like that's like a better idea if you know how Order 66 would work if you know they went against a powerful Jedi like him and how you know he could survive and you know it's sad seeing Waxer die in this episode because I really loved his character you know just Having a character like that, you know, introduced in the first season, him coming back every once in a while, which is just fun, but then his final conclusion, which is just a re it was a really touching moment, and it had a little Numa, like, 
drawing on his helmet was like, oh, I love that. Anyway, so, yeah, that's all I have to say about um, this arc. And to rate this arc, I'm going to rate it a 10 out of 10. It was fantastic, amazing, and I love it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.